Welcome to Andrew Fitness, I'm Joe. All right, today I'm gonna to educate you very briefly on the parts that I have, or more or less the parts that I don't have and the reason for my surgery. So about 20 years ago, I had a surgery called an ileostomy. So what was happening is that my large intestine, AKA your colon, uh, was infested with ulcers uh, to the point that my large intestine was pretty much as thin as an onion skin. So picture anytime you would eat something, you would have these products or food or liquids traveling through something that was almost paper, onion skin thin. So at that point, about 20 years ago, I had to have a procedure that actually had to remove my colon and give me a bag. So if you look at this image, let me just lean over here, this image right here, this will show you where the, you know, the normal human being colon or uh, large intestine is located. And what happened was, is like I said, we had probably about 24 hours. I had to have the surgery no matter what, but we had to come to terms, or I had to come to terms of what this would entail for the future uh, for my wife and I. So with that said, we had that surgery. I had that surgery, but we experienced it together because it does come whenever you're in a, uh, a marriage or a relationship or anything uh, that you have a, a, an amazing support person, you're going through it together. So keep that in mind. So everybody is really impacted. Now, they remove my large intestine. And then what they do is they pull a portion of your small intestine through the wall of your stomach. Thus, that little red little bump outside your stomach is actually your small intestines, better known as a stoma. Now that stoma, what happens is that all the food, the liquids, anything that you ingest travel through like it normally would, but rather than leaving the rectum or anus, that it actually goes out the bag. So it's called an ileostomy bag. So in our house, we always call it going number three when daddy has to go number three because the plumbing's not hooked up to the rectum and anus area uh, for food and byproduct to pass out like like normal people. So with that transitioning now, 20 some years later, and if you're watching this, you've already know that I've been diagnosed with rectal cancer. Now that little piece, it's only about, and I don't know how that will show up there, but it's only about, I have maybe less than an inch of the, the, the rectal uh, area, anus area in that area, still there. Now you can understand that there are a ton of nerve endings in that area. And the reason why, when I had the ileostomy surgery, I didn't get that removed as well. I'll let you do your own research on kind of the side effects that can happen whenever you have that part removed of, of the human body, of how many, there's so many nerve endings there that could, and this is what I may encounter with this surgery, many different side effects. And I will touch on those if those side effects actually happen. Uh, but we'll, that we'll say that for another video. So I had that teeny little bit in there and that's what caused the cancer is that little bit in there became cancerous. That's the item where it caused me to have the chemo, radiation. So let's think about this little tiny area, huge undertaking on my body uh, and those that may suffer from this. So let's fast forward now almost 20 years with that cancer went through the chemo and everything. And now we are one day away from surgery, February 14th, 2023. Tomorrow I'm having something called a proctectomy and I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right, but someone might check me. So a proctectomy, and let me lean here. You'll want to take a look at this image right here. So proctectomy is actually the removal of the rectum and anus from your body. That's right. They are going to cut the hole out and sew it up. So now get the laughs in, get the chuckles in because I mean, it is kind of sounds funny, but it's going to be life-saving. They're literally going to go in, hopefully, fingers crossed, liposcopic uh, through the belly with maybe three to four incis small incisions. They're going to go in, they're going to cut the cancer out. And then what they're going to do is they're going to go down and actually remove the hole and sew it up to where it's only going to be a five millimeter incision in that area where the rectum and anus used to be. So proctectomy, and I'll put up here, 
a good definition of what a proctectomy is and a little more detail about it as well. Uh, but feel free to research it on yourself. I may put some links down below. Uh, also, too, if you're interested to, or like to read or go into more detail, or if you're someone that has been recently diagnosed with rectal cancer and might be going through this same type of surgery. So, this is where we're at. We are one day away. And, as you know, the cancer has shrunken drastically. Doctor gave us the green light probably about two weeks ago that we're moving forward with this surgery. Just turned 51 yesterday, so this is... A huge next chapter in our lives uh, with the surgery coming up and I, if I want you to take away from this is that currently if you're healthy and you've put off having a colonoscopy or a flex sig or whatever you have kind of scoping that needs to be done please don't wait do not wait this is the, the PSA of the actual video is do not wait schedule these tests schedule them because you don't want to be in a situation like this. You want something to be caught very early where they can remove it and do a lot of precaution, preventative measures. That's what I'm telling you. Do the preventative things so you don't have to go down this route. Have your scans. Eat healthy food. Eat food that helps fight cancer. It's inevitable, like I said the other day, that cancer does not discriminate. You could be one of the most healthiest people vis visually on the outside, but internally, your body can be uh, an absolute battlefield. All right. So I want to thank everyone for all the prayers, things out to the universe, all the good vibes that you've been sending our way. We truly appreciate everything that you guys have done for us. Um, just the positive outlook. Like I said, we've gone positive mindset from the very beginning, from the day that I was diagnosed and in a positive mindset to the day after surgery. Well, actually, the day of surgery, which is tomorrow, is 7.30 a.m., they're going to have me up and walking up and down the halls. So keep those prayers. Keep putting that good vibes out in the universe. Whatever your thing is, we appreciate it. And once again, I want to thank all of you for following. And just keep this in mind. No matter what you're going through or what somebody else could be going through, it could always be worse. All right, I'm Joe with NGU Fitness. As always, like, share, subscribe, and never give up.